Hi everybody, welcome back to musicmoose.org. Now that was a little bit of uh, advanced rhythm. Uh, we've been working, um, you remember, on your bluegrass rhythms and we're going to continue um, to to work on, on the rhythms on the banjo and putting the rolls as, uh, as well over this 4-4 four, four time. Now, before I start um, with this next lesson. I'd just like to say that when I was first starting out with these videos, I, I wanted, I had the idea to keep them just as natural as can be, just like you and I were sitting in a room together. And, and I'm going to continue to teach that way throughout all of these lessons that I'm going to be teaching you. Now, when I'm teaching you these lessons, I, 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 I have a lesson plan, a basic lesson plan, and I have the idea of what I want to teach in, in a natural progression as we move along. But when I'm doing these videos, it's totally unscripted. And, and I'm sort of just, I'm teaching from what I know. I, I can only teach you what I know, and, and I'm going to continue to teach doing that. So what we do here, um, is we'll tape these videos, we'll film these videos, and then at the end of the day, I'll go over and review them. Now, if you notice in these videos, there's also text that you'll see um, below the video screen. And it's very, very important to, to read this text along with the videos because, again, sometimes I'll go back and review these videos and maybe something that I wanted to say that, that perhaps is not in the video, I will enter into the text. So it's, it's very important for you to get the most out of these lessons, uh, out, of, out of all these lessons on the site, is, is to read the text along with the videos as well. And um, again, so you can get the most, the most from the moose. Now, um, let's get back to the basic rhythm on the five string. Now you remember that we were you would, in, in the last lesson you were doing those two finger chords down by the nut with the C and the D seventh chord. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I want to show you a three finger C chord. Okay. Now you remember that the two finger C chord look like so and now all we're going to do is we're going to drop our middle finger and fret the fourth string just behind the second fret so there we have a three finger c chord down by the nut again this is coming out of the second string position and again i'm going to be explaining why it's coming out of that second string position so we're strumming those strings now and we're getting that that C chord with those three fingers. Okay. Now again, if you remember, the D seventh chord looked like that. Okay. Now for this next example, we're going to add another note, another finger to this um, D seventh chord as well. And this one might be a little bit hard for you to reach at first, but it, it, it'll be a good exercise to stretch that pinky out a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fret the fourth fourth string just behind the fourth fret with our pinky, and that's just a three. Uh, you're, we're fretting three three notes um, to 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 form this D seventh chord. You remember, I if if I lift my finger up, my pinky, it sounds D seventh chord. It's another D seventh chord, just a slight, a slight difference in in the tone of that, of of the let's say color 
it's just a different color. And again, I'm going to be explaining why these chords are what they are um, later on. So let's go back to our quarter notes again. And this time, along with the quarter notes, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a couple of, uh, we're going to be actually playing bass notes as well. They're still going to be quarter notes, but you'll be able to hear the sound of the, va the bass in this, in this rhythm pattern. And it's the same pattern that we've been using right along, uh, again, those eight measures. And again, you can play this as well over the guitar track. So let me just play these eight measures now using these three finger chord formations. Again, those were those same eight measures that we've been playing right along, just we're using those three um, three finger chords now. And, and, and you can hear the sound of that bass with the thumb. So let me just let me just go over this pattern really quick and uh, and show you what the pattern is with my right hand. I'll just use the open strings again. So we have thumb, three finger pinch, the thumb was picking the third string open and now the thumb's going to pick the fourth string open and another pinch so we have this and again if you, if you go back the downbeats are on the one and the three and I'm hitting the downbeats with my thumb and that's the sound of the bass but we're still using the quarter notes in this rhythm pattern. So there we have a, a, another example of uh, uh, again just a little bit more complex rhythm not not much but just again incorporating the sound of that bass um, into that pattern so I'm going to leave it there um, everyone and we're going to continue on with all this and putting the rolls and uh, again the left hand techniques all into this four four time